All right, everything's cleaned up. Cleaned the shop again. Picked up all this, the Mustang II front end stuff. Rearranged it. What I'm gonna start first on is gonna be the motor, because that's what I know. It's gonna be a long process on that front end, unfortunately. Basically, we're gonna disassemble this. We got an intake, cam, valve covers. I know we're gonna start taking off the. Uh, Taking the valve covers off first and see what it looks like inside. Hopefully we don't have to do any more than what I think we have to do. Hmm. Hmm. Turn that up a little bit. You know you drain the oil out of it. I'm hoping I can get those headers to fit past the frame on this. I want to get different mounts for the uh, accessories though. Pull this valve cover off. This one valve's looking pretty crusty. I think it was uh, lacking some oil changes back in the day. Are we getting any valve springs? <laughs> Two, so. I won't worry about that too much. Cause that's getting replaced. Little did Tony know he needed to be worried. All right, let's go and drain this oil. I'm trying to up. make a big old mess. Let's get it over with. What? Give me a rag. Rag? Yeah. Rag. Give it here. Here you go. Here you go. Look how poor this cylinder spot is for the Valve cover, ain't no wonder it leaks. You see that? My goodness. Too many bolts would break inside the head here. Hopefully none. Now I'm not gonna save any of the... Oh, this bolt already broke. Interesting. I don't know if it broke off inside there. What the deal was? I'm not gonna keep any of these old... Manifold bolts. Don't need them. You know, I have to use the manifolds. I'm gonna put new bolts in it. Get these spark plugs out. Probably get a new one of those. I'm running rich. Now the distributor, I get, we'll convert it to electronic, do away with the points, but I won't keep this distributor. Just to keep the external cool, kind of try to keep this thing look uh, original as I can, other than what I'm going to do with the uh, valve covers. Oh. Oh. I got to get a new. One of these two, it's so crazy, it's chunking apart. Yeah, she's pretty. She's pretty not good. This uh, engine looks better. The engine seems appears to be mat matching for this Studebaker. I feel like it's been rebuilt once. The valve cover, I'm pretty sure it should have been yellow. Everything is black. Tony will discover the lack of professionalism of the rebuild of the engine later. It's worse than what he would have half assed himself. I think it's stuck inside the manifold, it's not really stuck in the uh, head.
Yep, I'm stuck in there. Huh. I'll take that as a win, though. That way, I don't have that broken bolts to contend with. Yeah, Lord knows you can't drill a bolt hole straight, Tony. This is Cross Thread Garage. What? Well, the motor mount wasn't even tight. I gotta switch these motor mounts. I'm not sure if these are Chevy motor mounts. I've never seen GM mount. I think this is just an adapter style for getting that Chevy motor in this Studebaker in 66. I don't want to get an adapter, get rid of this old school canister. Oh well. It's not coming out the way I thought it was gonna come out. Oh, this is broke. That's nice. I didn't even know that. Unless I broke it. I don't know when I would have broke it. Hmm. Look at that again. Might have just tack well that little. All right, let's get this cast iron center head off. All right, here we go. Lift this heavy ass thing up. Oh, maybe not. Which is broom. Let's go. Go, Richard. Ready on the silicon stick. Huh. Look at that. Crank case pressure thing. Never seen anything like that. Oh, that's all metal. Send a ribbon on it. I do not know about that. I guess we'll leave it on there. That's all metal. Where the hell's all that metal from? Look at all these sparkles I'm pulling out of the head. I don't like that at all. That ain't good. Sparkles? Yeah, sparkles. Yay, sparkles. No, not yay, sparkles. <laughs> sparkles are bad in them. All right, I took out my push rods. Got a lot of metal down by this one lifter. I mean, big pieces of metal. I'm not sure what to do with. As he dives further into the engine, he will find the source of the metal shavings that is plaguing his mine. Oh, let's get this head off. Always pay attention to the length of the bolts on no matter what engine you're taking apart. You're pulling the head or something like that because you have to torque it. And when you torque it and you got too long of a bolt, it's going to snap and then you'll have issues. Just pay attention to that. Just don't get all gun ho on them. All right, we'll put a bolt back in here loosely so I don't drop the head on the ground. We don't need to be getting aluminum heads and everything else on a 283. Poor little thing. Just a little feller. That's a little, that's a little, little matter. There we go. I'm surprised this didn't blow a head gasket. I push all that rust through. Probably really should send this block off and get it freaking cleaned out. 
Well, these are fell pros, so someone's been in there before. Those things bored 30 over. Let me bring you in here. I don't know if fuel was sitting there washing that out because I mean, at the end there, the fuel was leaking out. That piston is clean as a whistle. And the other ones just look fun, but I think it's just fuel. Hopefully, just wash it out. I didn't see any coolant leaking in there. Um, but it has been punched out 30 over. It's already been rebuilt once. This thing did sound pretty good before. It was smooth, always good running. So, I'm glad it's been rebuilt. So now when we put this cam in there, he'll be ready for it. Yeah. Little did he know the last person who rebuilt the engine may have been under the influence of a controlled substance, but he was not ready to throw stones in a glass house. He must continue. Got a little metal build up on this side too. Look at all that. I don't know what that's from. If it isn't from the bottom end, I don't see what's in the top here. We'll see what happens when we take the oil paint off, I guess. Enough about the damn metal shavings. You're almost there. Gonna take the lifters out or the tappets. We were out calm. Those look pretty healthy too. I have to run to the parts store in a little bit. I'm not sure if I got a bouncer puller. And doesn't look like I have the valve depressor anymore either. Well, I'm going to the parts store. All right, get the puller here, rented from AutoZone. Hello. Hello. All right, let's make some noise, ready? Really. Cover your ears. There we go. Just like that, she's off. <laughs> he is about ready to discover the origin of the shavings. Let's watch as this simple, majestic mechanic creature learn. This time gear is beat to death. Incredible. This grease creature is able to learn. Yeah, that's where one metal was coming from. See that? Where the chain was eating into it. Let's see what the condition of this cam is.
The team's definitely stuck. Dad? Dad? Well, I think Puppet's here. Time to change the battery. Dad. All right, get Dad's battery changed in his truck. Let's get this old pan off. Yeah, we are not reusing this pan. I don't know why it got so damaged. Did not happen when I owned it. It was like that when I got it. A little metal, but all nonsense. So all my metal is coming from the chain, I do believe. As he speaks with insurance in his voice. All right, well, that's a bucky crusty in there. Like I said, this time gear is so sharp, you can't even touch it. That's junk. My pickup's welded to that. I mean, that's approved. Well, I got an adapter for this. Hopefully it's right. If they don't need more parts. He will always need parts. That shit will never end. Here's my full gasket kit. Need that. Here's my new pan. The deeper sump. That's really not that deep. I should be able to use the factory pickup then. It just holds more oil and prevents sloshing. Here's the new pan. So the bigger some point. And this one's all dented, so that's good. <clears throat> all right, I'm not sure we left off. Keeping the old pump. Went well, did a little bit of research on the, the old filler adapter, get that ordered from Summit. So, go ahead and clean this up. All right, I'm through my parts here for my heads. I got keepers. Came with the kit. Came with new valve springs, valve seals, new tappets, lifters. Didn't spend the money on the roller stuff because it's not getting high horsepower. A new time and set, which didn't realize that I desperately needed. And of course, you guys might know this brand. I don't know if you do or not. Got this hog ass cam. So, hopefully, you know, she'll. <laughs> but I think before I put my oil paint on, I'm going to try to get this timing set figured out. Or at least the, the bottom pulley. Go ahead and start cleaning this up too. Make a bunch of noise. We're still recording. All this nonsense. There. Oh. Gears off. For the tool, I don't know what it's for. Well, figure number one needs to bring top dead center. If I had a way to turn it. I'm gonna use an oil filter strap on the end of this. What do you think about that? I think we'll give her a shot. 
Now number one is always the one furthest forward on your engine. All right, we got number one top dead. Sold time gear at zero. All right, things about ready to get sloppy. Ooh, this effing guy. I wouldn't recommend hammering a cam gear. All right, time to install, install the new cam. I got the lower time gear on. I guess it's at zero degrees. All right, instructions. Ooh, what a big difference this came in the factory. <laughs> Make sure you leave her good. Oh, yeah. I'm using just straight oil treatment. All right, here we go. What are you talking about? A poopy land. Poopy land. Look at the poop on my hand. Everything is poop. Look at my poopy hands. Look. See them? What a mess. Got the new chain install. It's definitely way more tighter than the old one, which is good. Guess okay. they're cylinder heads. God bless America. Uh, those new lifters, they need to be soaked in oil. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of uh, oil treatment in there too, a little heavier. All right, these are hydraulic lifters. They need to be soaked up with the oil. So I'm just gonna put them right in here. Down all over the floor. Oh, well, there's instructions about it too. Do not drop new lifters on the floor. Okay, put some oil in there with it. Let them soak that up. That is oil. Hold on. Oh, I was kind of spiraling in there yesterday. I don't know if I was even explaining anything. I was tired and frustrated and I've used this tool before. I ran it before. It's freaking trash. It's on my nerves. But now I went to a uh, big high dollar parts store. Got me the valve compressor that I like when the heads are off. So let's see if I can go through and ex explain on how I'm doing these valve seals and everything and reseating the valves, regrinding the valves on the seat there.
You mean lapping the valves, Tony? And make a little better video. We get so much freaking trash in the way though. Stop making messes, guys. You drive me crazy. Let's get this hot daughter's puppy out. Woo! Shiny. Huh? Yeah, I am. <laughs> And here being crazy, talking to myself, to all my friends. I took this one valve apart that had an umbrella style on there to help assist with the O-ring style. Uh, I can't find none of these anywhere. But the one I took off really doesn't look that bad. So I might just go ahead and just reuse any ones that come across here. Now you like to see the carbon build up on this. What we're gonna do is lap the valves here. First, we're gonna clean it up with a wire wheel. I got compound right here. Valve grinding compound is the correct term, you illiterate swine. Dip it in this compound. I mean, just a smidge will do. Put it back in. I was skeptical at first somebody told me to do this, but it didn't work fine on the LS. Take your drill, fill in the valve, tighten it up slightly. Turn it back up. We pull that gritty stuff off there. Don't want to get in the motor. It'd be a perfect lapping job. But using that stupid little suction cup thing it takes forever and doesn't hardly work. Now here comes the fun part. All my retainers and stuff into place here. <laughs> Ooh, she's a little tight. There we go. Whew. Take my magnet. That one side. Other side. Try to anyway. I'm going to slowly crank it off. There it is. It's on there. I don't know. I'll get you back when I get to start cleaning on the head. I'll go ahead and finish these valves up. And we'll go from there.
Let's see if I can just use the drill and see if it's quieter. It works as good. I doubt it. Probably don't spend enough RPMs. All right, well, I'm not going to hold this over top of our parts cleaner, garbage can. Put it spurred down right here. Put the surfaces all cleaned up. I'm just trying to get rid of that gunk and gook out there. Some residue left over. Metal shavings. You know, usual stuff. There we go. Now I get my workbench all wet and soaked. That's why we got rags. Clean surface area because we gotta get ready for the next one. All right, get a clean rag here. Let's wipe the surface off. Ooh, looks like I missed a spot down there. Let's go over here. Let's just take a gander out of our surface here. Pretty good. A little oil on there. Let's go ahead and give it the, the clean in specs here. This motor here, I probably should use some gasket spray on here. I mean, everything's really porous. I guess it's just a period of the engine. Things weren't cast very well back in the 60s with sand and what have you. Make sure you blow your holes out, your dry holes especially. There's fluid down here. These bolts won't tighten up. Got my holes blown out. Got to put my gasket on, back on, put it on. I don't know how I'm going to edit this. But I had it on once, but I didn't clean out the holes, but now it's back on again. There you go. All right, take our cleaned up head. Let's get the light. <laughs> Find your pinholes and put them in. Dear God, or pinholes. Find your dial pins and sit down on. Shouldn't be going anywhere right now. Since I get the blower out, let's give this thing a friendly little blow. Job. All right. You should delete that. I probably should. <laughs> I just came back from the parts store. I didn't have any sealant for the lower hoses. You mean bolts, don't you? 
Tony, do you even know Is he? where you're at? Need like a pipe dope for yeah, yeah, yeah. the water jacket ones. Yeah, 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 but yeah. also said you need to cover them all and put dope on. So. Yeah. And I will do all the short bolts. Bye, Rosie. Bye, good, camera. Good seeing you around. Okay. Now, the torques on these are supposed to be 25, 45, 65. Now, you can always check your, you need to check your diagrams, and there's a sequence and everything. But basically, if you've done enough, really, it works from the inside out. So, this is going to be my 25, huh? You guys probably should do stuff right. Don't watch me. Twenty-five, sure. I'm gonna set my torque wrench to forty-five. Now, it's my purpose to sixty-five. There it is. It's torqued. So now, I do it all over again with this head. So we'll see you back in a little bit. I'll go ahead and knock this other head out. Might as well start dropping in my lifters. I'm supposed to put this on the foot of each lifter, but pretty well got pretty good lube on already. My mind's very okay to be very liberal with this oil. Push rods, you gotta get a bit aware, but I did not mark where they went before. We're just putting them in. I'm gonna put this up at the top though, where it's shiny, where it did rotate before, wherever it was at before. All these are all the same length. I'm going to loosely put all my rockers on. <clears throat> rockers are back on. Loosely. I'm not ready to adjust me. I get this other head, all the valves done in it, get it cleaned up, get it put on, get it torqued. And then we'll run through the valve adjustment. And hopefully you get the uh, front cover on and get the oil paint on. Uh, yeah. Alright, well I was getting ready to assemble with the back. Put all the valve springs and everything in the driver's side head. But number eight cylinder got an issue on the exhaust side. Bye daddy. When I was working, when I was first tore off the valve covers, I noticed this one spring. It's got more oil on it than the rest of them. I said, huh, oh, that's funny. It must be a bad valve seal. Then I took the valve out and realized, uh-oh, it's not a bad valve seal. There's no guide for the valve stem. So somebody who rebuilt this engine last time, they bored a 30 ever and stuff, must have been drunk or said it rain only had seven or only had 15 guides. I don't know. But if you take it to the regular the one that does have a guide in it, look at that. Don't want to remove it all. So now I was trying to avoid a machine shop trip, but this head's got to go to the machine shop and hopefully they can fix that problem. So I can get, and I'll just go ahead and put them, put the valve springs and everything else in this one head and let them get that done. Man. So. I don't know, we'll keep moving forward on it either way. I still want to try to get this thing kind of sealed up. So right now I'm just going to try to knock this seal out of here. Need a new seal and a timing cover for the crank. All these seals are really hard. I'm assuming it was rebuilt a long time ago. Daddy, 
Installed. Damn. No, I just gotta get a charged one. Yep. Put on the dial pins here, and here. It doesn't want to stay. That's good. Oh, this gas can somehow get all kinked up and bent up. We're gonna go ahead and get some old Indian head gasket slack compound. That's nasty crap. We're just gonna paint it on there. Huh? Why? What? I'm doing it. I'm putting a gasket on, bud. See how this old Indian head works. It's gotta be designed just for this old Chevy motor. Huh. Yeah, old shark is on there. All right, now I got the right size bolts in here. Let's go ahead and snug this up. Up in six pounds. There she is. Torqued. <coughs> now, funny thing is, there's a bolt hole there. I'm pretty sure it should be a five eighths head bolt there. If the crank's messed up, which is very possible with the quality of the uh, engine rebuild. WTF, Tony, don't incriminate yourself on this shitty install. I think somebody stripped that off and wishes the best of luck. Hmm. So if it comes loose, I mean, I'm going to have to weld it. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. All right. Got this bottom all cleaned up. I don't have it flipped all the way over upside down. Yep. Because there's lifters inside there and I want sliding out. Yep. Since I can't put the other head on. They cannot go roll. I'll put that a little RTV down. on it. On these corners. Stop. The brand new gasket. Ooh. It took off the old one. Yeah, it took off that old cork junk, and this is actually a neoprene it nice gasket. Also, it came with new brand new bolts. Ooh, it? Yep. Buddy. Where are you Over here. We gotta put them together. All right, give me a little one, bud. Or give me a big one, whatever. Don't give me a big one. Thank you. Here, Daddy, I get one more. I got one more big one. <coughs> Ew, your blood. Not enough water, little one. Yeah. I need all the little ones. I need two more. Well, I got two more in my hand. Well, do we need to go there? Where? There. Right there? Yeah. I'm, a, I'm making sure this one will have a mixed one. You can go tighten the last four, Dom. The last four? The last four, the big ones. A big one. Where? Can you do dumb? Slow, 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 slow. Here, move your hands. You gotta watch this right here. Pull on this thing. You gotta watch it. See the numbers? Yep. One more. 
Да, yeah, more. Done. Oh. Ready for splash. They turn it in. Let's turn this for. Oh, now, now, huh? now, now we can't fix anything because I don't have parts for my head. Aww. So that means we can't put the center head on. No, nope. we have to keep it on. We got to put a guards bag over it. Wait, what happened? I'm not sure if this is going to be the end of the video. Why? Huh? Why? Why what? Why do I have to put a trash can over it? Because I don't want dirt and stuff getting in here. Uh oh. Trash bag over it. Oh, good trash bag. All right, it's in the cupboard over by the stereo. Okay. I don't know if this is going to be the end of the video. Wrong way, Dom. Everybody, the stereo underneath the TV. I'm not sure if it's going to be the end of the video, but I got to send this head off and get fixed. Okay. If it can be fixed. That's easy. So, we'll go ahead and stop for tonight. Get the old paint on. Get the left head on. Still got to get the right head, the center head. We got to paint everything. I just got some horrible cross hatch on. I guess I don't know who the hell rebuilt this thing. I hope. I should just have swapped it. Bye. Looks like we won't be finishing the engine. Since Tony hey. didn't get his head back from the machine oh, shop, we We're should only go in the sometimes, dirt. Here. Bob. Put that back. Yeah. No. no. West Virginia. Mm -hmm. Days and years. No. River. Life is older, older than the trees. Younger than the mountain, blowing like a breeze. Count your own, take me home to the place I belong. West Virginia. Mama, oh, take me home. Count the road.